and welcome to a brand new Genshin Impact video. Today, we are taking a break from the Sumeru Archon quest, and we are going to be hanging out with Jean and Lisa. I am so excited. I really hope potion creating is in Genshin for good. I I'm more of a potions guy instead of, you know, having to cook food for buffs and healing. Uh, you know, just because when you're in the middle of a fight, I'm, I don't want to eat a whole chicken, you know, just I want to chug a potion, heal up and then get back to it. Uh, but enough rambling. Let's go to Mondstadt. Oh, it is always good to come back to Mondstadt where everyone's Genshin impact journey begins. I know Mondstadt holds a special place in all of our hearts. So it's great that these events bring us back to Mondstadt or Liyue. I don't, yeah, and Inazuma. I was gonna say, I don't think I have been to Inazuma during an event, but that is incorrect. We have, but if you are excited for today, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Feed that YouTube algorithm. Let it know you love the content. Let me know too. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Oh, I just wanted to come and see you, nothing else. Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain oh. someone? Oh, yeah, we're here to peruse you, of course. <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. <laughs> Thanks. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait. You're actually busy with work? That's not a sight you see every day. Yeah, true. What is she working on? <laughs> You're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. Oh, the academia. Hey, we're involved in that place right now. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Are you working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? Oh, no, that's okay. I don't really want to read all of these books. What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? Why are you winking at me? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Thank you, Paimon, and this is exactly why I love you. Is that a no, then? It right, no. It would be quite a no. rare opportunity to work together. And you would, of course, be generously rewarded. Okay, but hold on. If you don't want to. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm all ears. Rewards. As you probably know, Moral, the Knights primo of the gems. have long conducted research on alchemy, but most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal, which means that up to this point, most of Jesus. our research and discoveries have remained quite distant Put those from things away. lives. We've put a lot of Mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. Yes. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day. So Jean thought I was the best person for the job. Sounds about right. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Okay, I don't want to drink any potions without, you know, knowing what they are first. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. <laughs> Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. So we need, like, lab rats? But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. Okay. 
So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Okay, okay. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. Oh, yeah, you got that right. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience nope. that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. <laughs> I'm, I'm still young? What the? <laughs> yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just <laughs> looking for a way to pawn off your work. Yeah, we can just think of it as a favor for Lisa. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Yeah, but you owe us. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. Oh, okay. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Cool. All right. I would like to make some health potions. Uh, you know, stamina potion. Maybe a, a skill potion to where you can drink a potion and you get a couple of skill particles. I want a potion that can make you fly or a potion that helps you find treasure. Oh, a potion that helps you fish. A potion that will allow you to walk on water. Ooh, a potion of invisibility. This looks awesome. This is the shop. Looks cool. I like all of these giant potions. Oh my God. Are we supposed to drink this in one shot? Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to oh, open the shop. Oh, that's cool. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. So what are we supposed to do? Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try Ooh, yes. your hand at brewing a potion? Yes. Okay. Your alchemical journey has begun. Use your ingredients and a little inspiration to make some fresh new concoctions. Okay, place the ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate for this concoction. When the tuning rate reaches 100% or higher, you can concoct the potion and receive the finished product. All right, press or drag ingredients to place them inside the alchemy cauldron. All right. Uh, let's see, some joy and chilies. Ooh, special calla lily. Oh my gosh, this is Tetris. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Wait, am I just supposed to fill this up? I am an alchemical wizard. 160% tuning rate. Oh, steady, warm, beginner strength. Beginner strength? I thought that was a good one. Complete, yeah, complete. Don't show again. Thank you. What did we make? Bare Bones Basic Bottle. <laughs> I think Ito would appreciate that name. Potion level three. Okay. Beginner Strength Potion plus, plus three. Add shop Luck. storage. Ooh, looks like you finished your potion. Yep. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Okay. Uh, try to sell your product. Okay, we got to go over here. Wait, I want to make more potions. Don't tell me this is going to be a multi-day event. Okay, strength. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. That looks, looks cool. Like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while oh. we wait for customers to arrive? I don't want to take a break. I want to make more. Where? Where does my mom? Oh. End operation cycle. Revenue for this cycle. Pay close attention to the financial reports and see which potions are selling better. That way we can figure out just which potions are the most in demand. Okay, revenue, 575 mora. 
profits 475 wow that cost 100 mora to make not bad i mean we made 475 more off of it pretty good sale oh it seems like everything is going well you've already sold your first batch of potions i'm an expert oh look at all we got more customers as for what potions you should brew next we'll need to consult the news from the market that means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. Okay. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. Yeah, a little bit. You want us to go around talking to people? <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself oh, to compile good. all the latest news on the market for you. All right. Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. The owner of a Mondstadt flower shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Uh, yeah, definitely. A miracle grow potion? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. Okay, don't stress me out, though. I don't want too many options. All right, cutie. Why don't you get started? Whoa! We gotta pick all of our stuff. Oh, no. Oh, great. Now this is where the stress is gonna hit. Too many choices. I'm very indecisive. Oh, my God. Can I just grab all of it? Cultivate the ingredients. Different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately. Wait, what? Different cultivation areas can be assigned ingredients separately. After a certain amount of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Okay, uh, so this is a calla lily. I want to cultivate some more. What is this one? A special horsetail? Absolutely. No, I don't want to change the ingredients. Why would I change the ingredient? I don't want to. All right, harvest. Thank you very much. Uh, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. What? She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. Okay. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Oh, I like this music. Wait, what about you? Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about you? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Oh, she is so lazy. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Thanks. Go back to the library, please. Uh, I don't I need you. This would happen. Where's Jean? I want to turn Lisa in. <laughs> I don't even have my potion license. You know, if somebody gets hurt, I don't want it coming down on me. Frida! Hey, logistics! Greetings, honorary knight. Hi. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's yes. such an honor to meet the famous traveler and his loyal attendant. <laughs> oh, uh, the pleasure is all mine. If you're looking for a business license, uh, you're going to have to talk to Lisa. Attendant. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. <laughs> it's just like something out of a novel. You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. Yeah, maybe you'll get the chance one day. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping, at least. Anyway, we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. All right, perfect. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, purchase some supplies. You're in luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. All right, let's see here. Ooh, a cultivation area expansion. That would be nice. And we don't have anything else. All right, we're going to go ahead and buy this. 
The next one is 5,000? How does it go to 400 to 5,000? Fredo, what are you doing to me? The next cycle, are we ready for the next cycle? I don't think so. What I want to do is actually of other people's expand sense of up here. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let's go mushrooms, cultivate. Um, all right. Let's go with more calla lilies this time. Put a mushroom down here. Calla lily has the heart. Oh, wait, right here. This is what I was looking for. Balance. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay, that doesn't work either. But I think that's good. We don't need to fill the whole thing up. We do have two missing squares, which does kind of suck. All right. We're going to complete it. What did we make? Endurance steadying. I don't, I don't think that's gonna, I don't believe that's gonna help with growing plants. But we're gonna try and sell it. Enhance our potion. Beginner strength plus four, okay. Okay, let's sit down. Financial report. Let's see. Revenue this cycle, how much was that? Hold on, total potion cost 200. And we made 7,485 Mora. Our profits, 700, uh, 7,285, beautiful. Demand exceeds supply. The sales figures are looking pretty good. Let's keep it up. Mature ingredients are ready to be harvested. All right, I don't think we're doing too bad. Okay, harvest all of them. I don't really want to change that up. Hold on, we got some money. Let's buy another... Uh, a cultivation area. Ooh, or should we? No, let's, let's buy the expansion. We got to expand first. Okay, perfect. Perfect, okay. We gotta check the market news. Okay, steadying, constitution, endurance. Strength, constitution. Oh, okay. So maybe if we add uh, just a ton of these things. Let's rotate this. Put this up here. Uh, okay, I guess, yeah, sure. Okay, perfect. Let's make it. Ooh, green one. Endurance and steadying. Let's go. Ooh, this is gonna be a big seller. I can already feel it. The customers are gonna be pouring in. Red, blue, and green. Look at our stock. Cycle three. Oh my, let's go. We spent 300 Mora and we made 11,745 Mora. What? Oh, this is my true calling. Woohoo, our sales this time were through the roof. We made a fortune. Now I kind of want to buy uh, some potion bottles. These are gonna be nice. Angled drop bottle. That one's nice. Ooh, a heart stopping heart bottle. Oh, a cat bottle. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. I do like the heart. And we'll buy one more. The angled drop bottle. Or maybe we'll go with a gorgeous gem. Oh, this is gonna be a great day for selling. Ooh, special Sumeru Rose. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's put this, I feel like I need to move this somewhere. Move that up here. Okay, yeah, this is looking a lot better already. Let's try it. This is at 160 tuning rate. Oh, uh, and very much on the charisma side. Somebody is gonna like this one. Ooh, purple. 
This one is all about charisma. So, you know what? Let's go with the heart bottle. That's a plus seven charisma. Oh, they aren't asking for charisma yet, but maybe they just don't know they want it. They don't realize that they want this potion. Okay, I, I'm feeling good. Um, let's go to the next cycle. Cycle four? No! Oh, it dipped! <laughs> no. Maybe they didn't want the charisma. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, we did make 9,935 Mora, but... Oh, man. Uh, Draft of Springvale is recruiting hunters to hunt an exceedingly speedy boar king. A scout from Monsta has unearthed unearthed an ancient stone tablet and is currently trying to decipher the information on it. Ooh, so they want knowledge. Okay, I see it. Uh, ooh, improved alchemy cauldron. Enhances the performance of the alchemy cauldron? I mean, we have to, right? Oh, and we can actually expand. <laughs> That's right. Business is booming. I mean, come on. Nobody else is this professional. I'm on another level right now. Uh, knowledge. We need to cultivate some knowledge. Let's get rid of these mushrooms. These things are annoying. More knowledge. Uh, yes. Perfect. Let's get rid of the Julian chilies. Uh, some charisma. I feel like charisma is going to be popping up here soon. I want to be prepared. Uh, harvest all. I can't. I already harvest it. That's fine. No sweat. You know? Why? Why stress? Maybe we're going to throw two of these in here. Why not? And two mushrooms. Wait. Healing? I thought that was learning. Healing and endurance. This is not what they are asking for, but we're going to make it. I'm with it. Ooh, that looks so cool. Okay, so this is supposed to be a healing one. So I guess let's just do the hearts. Healing and endurance plus 10. Okay, let's stock other people's up. Sense of humor. I mean, are they going to need strength? Maybe. Uh, And probably not. Charisma. Dexterity. Okay, let's do it. Let's go with this. I feel good. I'm confident in my potion stock right now. Ready? This is going to be our best, our best cycle yet with the most profit. Here we go. Financial report. Cycle five. No, no, no. Oh, uh oh. Okay. I, uh, it uh, looks like our new beginner constitution and dexterity potion did well. Our strength. I kind of knew the strength wasn't going to be a hit. Okay, so stressful. Business is... Uh, we are going backwards. This is not what we want to see. Strength, dexterity, and endurance. Okay, we did not help at all. Steadying. Uh, endurance. Relaxing. Healing. Charisma. Uh, endurance. Definitely the special horsetail. Oh, we're getting serious here. Now we are getting serious. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna make everything perfect. 185. I would like to hit 200 in a tuning rate. I feel like that would do quite well. We're gonna go for it. We have the endurance and the strengthening. We're gonna complete it. I hope we get a mixture of everything. We're gonna go with the cat models. Beginner constitution and dex dexterity again? It's a plus 10. It's a plus 10. Oh, uh, okay. All right. That's not That's not what I was hoping for. We got the strength plus six. Maybe we're going to go with the cat ones. Yes. And uh, dexterity. And then constitution. No strength. No strength. But is that a bad idea? I don't know. This is stressful. Let's have a better cycle. Cycle six. 
Ooh, increase a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. Still the beginner constitution and dexterity potion plus 10 did well. Mm. Okay, we've kind of plateaued. We really peaked in cycle three. The market news. Strengthening? Oh, wait, what? Strengthening? What the hell did that come from? Strengthen? Strength? Dexterity? Strengthening. Jesus. Strength? Dexterity. Strength. 232. 231. We are going to figure this out together. Rotate. Let's put this one on the bottom. But this right here, I can only add one. Oh, no. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Okay, yeah. It looks like we got strength and endurance. Is that all we can do? All right, place it. Come on, baby. Give me a good mix here. 185. It looks like we have strength and uh, constitution. I said endurance. Complete concocting. Give us a double. Yes! Oh, oh! oh, man, that looks delicious. I wonder what that tastes like. Let's see, a potion level 10. Let's go. Oh, our sales report is gonna be phenomenal now. They gotta keep this forever. I would love to just come down here, make potions when I need them. That would be great. Okay, strength, we need that. Uh, and, uh, I mean, do we put the charisma up just to do it? I don't know. Dexterity. They need dexterity. So maybe we just put the dexterity out as well. I mean, I'm feeling good right now. We didn't spend any of our Amora. Frida's probably like, hey, what are you doing? Improved alchemy cauldron? Why didn't I buy that before I made potions? No. Oh, what am I doing? I don't really need these. Okay. We're going to have a much better cycle. Come on, baby. Bring it back up. Okay, here we go. 11,500. Much better. Much better. Perfect. Hey, what's up? Hi. Uh, funny seeing you here. It's been a while. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Beta with you. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, I didn't expect to see you two together. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wow. You were taking the initiative and making friends? Did I not hear that right? <laughs> <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being... Uh, hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Right, right. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. <laughs> You're telling me you were just being polite? Aw, oh, Beto's feelings are hurt. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Uh-oh, what happened? Do you need a potion? I got some for sale. Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. <sighs> You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. Was it venti? I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to uh, a more hands-on <laughs> way of getting them to calm down. Oh, absolutely. She is very much like the... Uh, Eula was patrolling the area while all this was They would be best friends, down, guaranteed. When she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port. So we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. And they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked their captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. 
Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities <laughs> myself. <laughs> I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, <laughs> you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Oh, absolutely. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I had a few too many and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, uh, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Well, hi. Uh, do you want to buy some potions? Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Yeah, since you came all this way, why don't you buy some to bring back with you? Uh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. Are you kidding? You don't have potions, though. <sighs> Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Oh, absolutely. I can brew you up this lavender chamomile potion. You're going to love it. You're going to get to sleep like a baby. Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. Perfect. It's just that uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza or if she just has too many things on her mind. What the heck is affluenza? <laughs> She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but Who? I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. Who are we talking about? All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away. Okay, so a sleep Great. potion? Thanks for the help. Okay. A bard in Mondstadt hopes to reliably put on a good show in their performance. Hey, the, the charisma! <laughs> We already made that, I but told you. To run out I told you it was gonna come back. Another one of these. Okay, perfect. Yeah, either way, we're gonna miss. It's at a 200% though, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And maybe we add another. All right, 210. Our best one yet. We're gonna go with this one. Complete the concoction. Uh, I do like the cats. I do. It's just such a cute bottle. Dexterity and charisma potion. This dexterity charisma is going to do so much better. Healing and endurance. I feel good, I think. I don't know what sleep potion Beto wants. How's the potion making going? Uh, let's see here. Endurance and strengthening, healing and endurance. Okay, deliver potion, possibly. Is she gonna be good with that? Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Oh, there you go. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't wanna keep my crew waiting. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. Oh, thank you so much. On behalf of the reconnaissance company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. Oh, thank you. Please don't forget to give us a five star on Yelp. Okay, cycle. Let's see. Financial report. Cycle eight, 12,000, please. 12K, 11,470. So we went down a little bit. So we kind of plateaued our beginner charisma potion. How the hell did we, how did we sell that? I didn't even have it out. Let's change the ingredient. What else do we have in here? New. 
and new. So a bard that smells good and is very perceptive of their audience. Um, with great technique. I think this is this is good. Let's add that, I suppose. And uh, I really wish that I could add something else up here. And endurance. That's 190. Let's place it. There's probably way too many, uh, too many ingredients. Whoa, that's nice. All right, we're gonna go with this packaging. So we got wisdom and charisma. Let's just empty all of that out. We need the wisdom and charisma for sure. Maybe we do dexterity and charisma as well. Uh, let's see, market news. Charisma and fragrance. Mm, maybe, uh, maybe just regular charisma? Let's try that. Here we go, 12,000. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Oh my God! 22,000! Let's go! Oh my God! Wow! Okay, that was definitely the best yet. It took us a little bit of time. You know, cycle three? We we uh, were close to 12,000 in profits. And then we kind of fell off for a little bit. And then boom. Cycle nine. Phenomenal. So I think we just leave this. Leave it. Why change it? Why change it? Our sales were good. And the operations cycle. Here we go. Did we do well? Ooh, we kind of leveled off. It's okay. 22,000. I will take it. I will take it. I do wish that we had a better potion instead of just a base charisma. Uh, I mean, regardless, 5,320 Mora. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, what a wonderful first day working at my potion shop. We do need to increase our cauldron. Uh, but once we hit alchemy level nine, then we're going to be able to buy the next level, create some better potions, and uh, make some more money. But all in all, I am loving this event. It is so much fun. I love it. I do wish that this would just stay here permanently. You know, could you imagine just traveling and then being like, oh man, I have to go down, make some potions. And then he would just come here. This is out of the way. This looks great. So why not keep it? Please let this be permanent. Like I said, a great first day. We made a lot of Mora. We made a lot of potions. And most importantly, we made a lot of customers smile. And that is what means the second most. Because Mora obviously means the first most to Paimon and I. But that is it for today's video. Make sure you leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!